I'm Andy Pilgrim, and today at NCM Motorsports Park, I have the Subaru WRX STI Type RA, and I'm gonna take it on track. <laughs> so under the hood of the Type RA, it's kind of busy, as you can see, actually quite colorful as well. You've got this hood scoop, massive hood scoop, shoves air down into the intercooler there. Engine is the 2.5 liter boxer engine. It produces about 310 horsepower and 290 pounds feet of torque. All of that feeds this four wheel drive system. You've got the helical limited slip diff at the front, which basically is packed under here. And you've got the torsion limited slip diff in the rear. So between all that, tried and tested for years this car, and it's pretty much bulletproof. So as you can see, there was a bit of a wardrobe change. Uh, it's freezing in here. Consequently, I put all the stuff on kind of appropriate for this car, which is probably more at home on an icy road than it is on a dry racetrack, actually. And we'll talk more about that later because we got to do a lap in the wet with this car, which is pretty cool. Really good brakes on the RA. I had no issues with brakes on track whatsoever. We've got a 13.4 rotor on the front with a big six piston caliper. And on the rear, you've got 12.8 inch rotor with a two piston caliper. They worked extremely well. So this is a type RA, RA record attempt. Subaru went to the Nürburgring and they blew away the four door lap record with a specially modified STI. I think it was a six minute 57.5 lap. Tremendous, tremendous effort. In honor of that record attempt, they made these cars. 500 only are gonna be produced. What's different about this car? Well, at the time they added five horsepower to get to 310 horsepower from the normal 305, lightweight BBS wheels, a carbon roof, carbon rear wing and also they deleted the spare tire out of the back so all that saves 66 pounds so essentially that's what makes a type ra the interior of the ra is going to be very familiar to sti fans of which there are hundreds of thousands if not millions around the world i mean this is one of the iconic fast and furious cars um, so you've got the the things that are adjustable by you you've got the uh, power uh, is, you can play with the power curve on the car which is always cool uh, you can also adjust the differentials, uh, make them locked or, or partially unlocked whether you, when you can mess with the C-diff. All, all that stuff's really fun. This, this gearbox is really industrial. You can use it very, very hard and it's going to stay with you. It's a Subaru. They make great cars. The final couple of things in the car that stand out to me, the steering wheel. Ultra suede, feels very, very good. Perfect size, excellent shape steering wheel. The seats really hold me in, the Recaros. If you're lucky enough to be one of the 500 people, you'll have this plaque right here uh, that own these cars. This one's triple zero. So obviously this one's not a retail car, but all in all, very, very cool. So I'm in the back of the Type RA. Essentially, it would be just the same as being in the back of any STI. My seat is the driver's seat, five foot 10. It's in the right position and I've got lots of room. Even if I want to like slouch down and go to sleep, I'm still not touching the back of the seat. And actually it's very comfortable, really comfortable. Getting out, I've got pretty big feet, whatever. And I could get straight out. There's a lot of room there, which is really nice to get out because this door opens all the way out. And I think that'd be good for parents with young kids with the child safety seat, getting in here without bending your back and breaking your back to get in the car and twisting it. That's, that's a real plus, I would imagine. Um, there aren't many SUVs that have doors open like that and families seem to go for these SUVs, but that's a really, that's really good, I think. And then the trunk, we've got a huge trunk. And bottom line is, even if I get all the way into the back and both those seats flop forward into the back, which makes it even more practical, that is a big trunk. All in all, exceptionally practical family vehicle. It's time to go take the RA on track. So I'm going to wobble down to pit lane, put my helmet on, and we'll get ready to go. All right. So we have damp to wet conditions here for the RA lap. First time you guys have seen that on one of the videos, but kind of thought it was appropriate for this particular vehicle. The Yokohama Advance Sports are really good. 245, 35, 19s, all the way around on the RA. A lot of screaming tires, wet conditions. When I was a kid, I think I thought, you know, screaming tires and wet roads, that's just, yeah, that's not real. Well, guess what? The six-year-old Andy Pilgrim was completely wrong. 
had an ability to throw the car around coming into five here. You're always going to have some understeer in these conditions with an all-wheel drive car, but uh, the Advance did a great job. A lot of fun trying to get the car to rotate. Little bits of standing water around, which you just you're going to have on any racetrack in, in when it starts raining. You have to get this car to turn. You can see working the hands fairly well here, getting the car to twist in there. Grippy curb here as well. We've got the right paint on the, for NCM and wet conditions, and the paint is good. You don't get that instant slip you get on some racetracks when you hit the uh, paint during wet conditions. Very, very good. Always love coming through tabletop. I was kind of thinking to myself, can I get through here pretty much flat? Yes, yeah, we moved around a little bit, but great stuff. A lot of fun. Love running in wet conditions here. decided to hold it really tight through here no point in getting out wide and actually did well through there it's always slippery up here but holding high 49 48 miles an hour was I thought very impressive just gotta get a good run out of here gotta get a good run slid a little bit not too bad Two twenty-eight one. We actually only managed the two twenty-six four seven in the dry. So, Advantire phenomenal in the wet. Not necessarily, you know, brilliantly sticky in the dry. Good tire, but in the wet, superb. Just got done running the Type RA on track and had a really good time. Actually, I got to run it in the wet and the dry, so it was actually doubly much fun. But that's not really the main purpose of this car. It's still a street car, and honestly, it's practical. It's quick, it's fun. It's designed to run in snow, ice, and everything else, and does a great job of that. No doubt about it, $49,000, it's not the cheapest out there, but they're only making 500 of the RAs, and if you got one of those 500, then you're pretty lucky.